Well, we finally got the contact wheels in with the rotary platen, and uh, we've made a little bit of progress on it. It's still in the, in the prototyping stages, but this will give you a little better idea of what's going on. If you look down here, you can see the indexing platen, and uh, we also have the spring-loaded pin that will take it to the different positions. And right now I've just got the, uh, the platen plate uh, clamped on there, but it will be, it'll be a larger plate and it will be held on with some, some bolts. This is the first position of what's available. This is the second position. It places the two inch wheel out in front. And keep in mind that this can either be in the uh, vertical position as it is now, or it can be in the horizontal position. This is the next position with a small wheel adapter placed out to the front. And this actually has two options. You can either leave it like this where you have a little bit of an angled free belt or it can be threaded under the rollers which I'll show you in just a second. This is your second option as, as it pertains to the small wheel attachment. The one that's currently on there is a three quarter inch and you can get those all the way from a quarter inch up to, uh, I think, about an inch and a half. The outer edge on this, this area back here will be cut off on this one. And that will make it easier for threading the belt. This bracket has two bolts, one long bolt that goes all the way through, and then one short bolt that goes in the back side to stabilize it. But to keep it from rotating, being it's only being held by the front bolt, um, there's a uh, hexagon type of keyed system, and that's on both sides of this uh, uh, intermediate spindle here. And these wheels come in and out of the front there very easily for uh, changing shaft diameters or contact wheel diameters, I should say. This is a picture with a small drive wheel adapter removed. This is a picture of the small wheel adapter removed from the rotary platen. This is the same position with a small wheel adapter removed. This allows you to get a slack belt in between the two two inch rollers. This is the next position that puts the two inch wheel out front also has slack belt on either side of it for those type of grinding needs. You can also in this same position put the small wheel piece on there and that will give you even more options. Keep in mind you can go horizontal or vertical. This position puts the four inch wheel out in front. So if you have uh, radiuses to grind with that, you can use, utilize that wheel. Also will be a tool rest system that uh, will be incorporated with this that I'll show you in probably the next video. Here's one of the tool plates installed. 
It has a lot of different options for that. It can be placed in a horizontal or vertical position, and uh, you'll see more of that as we progress. Here you can see it running. The belt tracking is uh, working uh, pretty good. And uh, also the lock pin for the rotation, that's also working as planned. And uh, it's a very positive thing. And uh, we'll have a, uh, a little handle where this uh, half inch nut is now. We'll have some type of little uh, locking handle there. So then as we rotate it into the different positions, we'll be able to uh, secure it. That's all we have for now. Thanks for watching.